Now then guys, I'm Thingy Magic and this is episode 17 of Leeds United's career mode, Marching on Europe. We've got three games for you today, starting with a Premier League fixture against Manchester City at the East Point. Then we have Newcastle United away at St James's Park. Then we will have Manchester United at the East Point. So three tough games there. Two against the Manchester clubs and then Newcastle sandwiched between them. So no easy fixtures at all. We have a bit of sad news to announce today. It was announced earlier. This is the 22nd of January. That former Leeds United manager Jimmy Armfield has died at the age of 82. He was the manager when Leeds United got to the European Cup final against Bayern Munich in 1975 and were cheated out of the cup. Um, he took over from Brian Clough after Brian Clough lasted 42 days. But um, he were at Leeds for four years, I think it was. Top bloke. Was part of the England squad. That won the 66 World Cup. He didn't get his winner's medal until 2009, I think it was, though. Because he wasn't part of the team that played in the final. But, yeah, Jimmy Anfield passed away. So, gone but not forgotten, boss. Right, back to my Leeds United. I think there's some unhappiness, yes. Tanzi, my role at the club, you're a centre-back, you're one of the best centre-backs I've got, stop wittering, you play almost every game, right, we can do some training, I'm going to use the Bogo as the youth team player. I've changed it about six times. We'll give him basics first. Work on. Give him first time strike. Right, Ronnie's having a go. Pass interception, that's what he needs to work on. defending Simulate them, see how the boys do. Right, 
That's not too bad. There should be a few game, days before the game. Tournament prize money. No look, it's got one boss. Gabriel Jesus, Player of the Year. You are not having Ronnie. No look in Brazil, no look in Scotland, I can both them at the same time then. Try Chile. Try England. So, Brazil, Scotland, so, ah! Oh, that's good. Hopefully, I'll get a bit of playtime. Oh, won the Manager of the Year award. We are glad to inform you that. Due to your excellent performances at Leeds United, you've won the Manager of the Year award. You worked hard and proved to yourself and everyone what you are capable of. Best wishes and continued success. Yours sincerely, Rebecca Pompey, the Football Association, Football Association Press Officer. Excellent, I'll archive that. Got seventy six thousand pounds for doing something in FA Cup. Looks like they've moved the Man City game a day forward, which is always nice of them. Just to bring you up to date on a bit of my transfer news I was going through a couple of clubs looking for different players as you normally see me do uh, this were a few days ago I'd made an offer for Bellotti a few months ago and got turned down anyway looking through it and I noticed that Bellotti's contract was up in eight months, like I said, it was a few days ago. And then the transfer window opened, so I thought, oh, I'll go make a move for him. So, he's worth 62.5 million. I have got him on a four-year contract. He's on £140,000 a week. He gets a 1.25 million bonus and a bonus of... 8.5 million when he scored 25 goals. So in effect, it's cost me about 10 million. Also, I found Malcolm. He's worth 47 million. He is on, on now, well, he will be in the summer on a wage of £5,000 a week at Leeds. And he got a signing bonus of 1.2 million, I think it was. So, two... Good players for next to no. I'm really pleased with them two bits of business. Right, let's.
let's have a look at squad because I was thinking about pulling the plug. With the defenders. Because McKeith is now better than Janssen. So I haven't done it for this reason, but I have now got four Scotland internationals in my first team. So we've got on bench Fontana taking Shaughnessy out. And I'm going to put Coates in because I've been using, well, the last game. I use Shaughnessy as a starter because of his, he's got a bit more pace than Coates and Bowie. Right. So there were Fontana on bench. Jansen can come out of there. Let's look for one. Right. Right winger, left winger, striker, defender. Attacking midfielder, I want. Put Madger in. Yeah, happy with that. Play the match. Now that I've got Malcolm coming in though, I'm going to have to start working out about my wingers because I've got a lot of them and I've got some in your team as well. I need either Kennedy or Gray to make the decision for me, really. Get his stats. I think I'm going to make him skip or something. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. And our match today comes from the Premier League. For the game today, Leeds United against Manchester City. Martin Tyler had some nice things to say about Jimmy Anfield today on Sky Sports News. Well, everybody did. Real gentleman. One club man. Played for Blackpool his whole career. Well, we should really expect some goals today. We're looking at a home side that are the top scorers in the league. Yeah, these home fans have been treated yeah, to some fantastic playing against fantastic the team that's got the best goals. team in the league. Check for you on the Leeds United lineup. Ah, oh, they're playing, I'm starting them today. Manchester City have made just a one change. Camille Glick replaces Socrates Papastatopoulos, who's injured. Kevin De Bruyne starts, he was man of the match last time out. And it's good to see them going with two strikers today. Holy shit. 
Come out of the as well. Last time I played them, it was more or less a second team city put out. But one of my viewers even mentioned that he didn't even recognise any of the players. A minute before the game for Jimmy. Here we go. Game's underway here, Manchester City having kicked off. Now this looks promising. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Should be ours, eh? Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out off that player there. Jordi Alba. It was Jordi Alba I saw. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Mbappe. Oh, charged down. Completely intercepted. It's opened up. Goalkeeper hangs on. The attack here. The shot's off. Oh! Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. tell you about Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Stoke City. It's been scored. This could be a chance. Too close. Try his luck. Brilliantly read by the goalkeeper. Yeah, all about positioning there, Martin. He's an experienced keeper and he showed it there. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. Alan McAnally just given time. By it. Cleverly done. Had to be brave coming out there, the goalkeeper. Of course, he's brave. He's Scottish and he's always United player. It goes out wide again. Lovely, incisive pass. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? Get in. Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what he's lies ahead. Into it past few games, is Nabi. And the way he's guided that into the left hand side of the goal. Right? It's wonderful technique. That's a goal well worth analysing again. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. Leeds United in front. Van Dijk. Kevin De Bruyne. Now this looks promising. Real chance. Real chance. <laughs> they score again. Same move again. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. Widen the margin here to 2 0. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Oh, lucky. It was a draw when these two teams met earlier in the season. So, lovely ball. I like the look of this attack. McKay. Trying to get away. Monster. On the break, but that move was quickly broken up itself. away with the ball cleaning great tackle Kevin De Bruyne Montoya Dele Alli nice move that Mbappe, guiding it through he's in to get back in the game well that could be an important moment that would have shepherded out right by back in the match well they had too many chances and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game
trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Oh, you a timely challenge. Here's Ali, and he gives it back to him. Back. They can be quick slipping it through. In with a chance. Space for the shot. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Well, they've taken the low route here and they've got themselves a goal well out of the keeper's reach. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. I won't say golfing class. Not with the team they've got. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but Goal all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Virgil van Dijk. Jordi Alba. Good work, really, to read the intention Run of the Milik. And they've cut it out. Now Kennedy comes in with a tackle. Here's Ryan Gould. Delivered into the box. Very good distance to the clearance. An opponent around him. That's good screening of the football. Deli Alley. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does. And uh, it means the ball moves so fast across the surface. And uh, that's great for attacking quick play. Ooh, well read. Area. Manchester City are on the attack now. And he's got to get it away now. Come on! Quite clearly a free kick. Well, it's the talk of the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential big money signing. Yeah, it just seem to He's not going anywhere. Time. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he does get sorted pretty soon in the next week or two. It's been sorted. He's not going. Luke Ayling. Here's Gray. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. That's an excellent cross. <laughs> it's a thumping effort. Great power with the header, excellently placed. Fine that was a beauty. Oh, it's fantastic timing. He gets up early, and what an emphatic finish! What a strike that is! Well, it was a great what delivery a strike to it the would box have from that left-hand side. It's where they looked in. It's still a great sight in the game, isn't it? The headed goal, and this was a fine example of it. Well, he's one of the best at anticipating balls into the box, and he was first to react, wasn't he? Oh, his team haven't been at it. And look at the manager's face. He can't believe what they're giving him out there. A couple of seasons ago, he was top scorer in the league. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair. When Milik and Sabitsky were injured in his first season. Jason Denier. That's an easy interception. Well, back to you, now. The pass wasn't really... A very thoughtful one. Into the attacking third. Ooh. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. And the the break is definitely on. Well in, McKeith. Kennedy. Here's Ryan Gould. Came in with a challenge. Oh, great. Here's Ali. 
He's true here. Yeah, he is. Shot on. Ooh. He's trying to hit this one too hard, Alan, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Miles off target in the end. Not the Bruyne as well. We've seen in the first half, half time. Well, it's been a big first half from a big team, really, and the opposition not in the same category. They've got so many avenues from which they can score, and uh, that's why they do boast this fine scoring record. Well, we wonder if the second half is going to be like the first one Probably sided. Not, no. <laughs> the intentions of the opposition there to. It wasn't so much the intentions, it was just shockingly shit. Jordi Alba. First mistake that McKeith's made in this game. Well, that's not so much an interception as a. Well, in pass. Danny. Kevin De Bruyne. Mbappe, Jordi Alba, now can he take them on, Deli Alley. he's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions, Deli Alley. good strong tackle, it was, Jordi Alba, now with Kevin De Bruyne, Deli Alley. shots on here, you could see what he was trying to do passed it into the net but passed it off target well off target This could threads it through. The score! Oh! Great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a prayer there, but he's so agile, this keeper. And that's a corner for Leeds United. I've been having proper problems with my switch for the past couple of years. Corner played into the middle. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Come on, Sam. He could get away here. It's opened up. Could get his cross in now. De Bruyne. Thank you. On time. Second half. Just a little bit of a Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Well, Here's a chance Jordi to Alba. go down the outside of the opposition. Opening oh, the moment yeah. The Opportunity here. Oh, no. That went all right. On the attack here. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of right particular job. Day. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League picture. Here. Leeds United, they'll be facing Newcastle United away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Here's Ali. I think he's one of the best, Martin, at just shifting across, reading the pass. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Proper tackle, that. Oh, come on. Kevin De Bruyne. That's Looking no ahead, good. Alan, Manchester City's next game. They're playing Southampton in the next match, and I can see them struggling in it, to be honest with you. With a team oh, yeah. like that, mind you. Look at the team. My I, well, Ryan my team's Gold. good, but uh, it's not. Not the same part as this team. Virgil van Dijk. Montoya. Here's Ali. 
Deli Alli and they've got Icardi on the bench. De Bruyne. Virgil van Dijk. Trying to get the ball in behind. Jordi Alba. Here's a chance. Goalkeeper exposed. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Ah, not quite. With the ball. Under some pressure here, but it's still his ball. Right. Should have done it earlier. That's just changes I'm making. It's gone out for a throw in. Well, this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. Fontana looks like Cabello. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get guiding it through the defenders. Here's company. Not quite. Deli Alley. Oh, he's through. But every now with Kevin De Bruyne. A lot of the ball in the second half. Oh, come on, you've got to be more. Kevin De Bruyne. His company. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too. I should have given it there. fucking earlier. It has been a case of the die being cast dominant in pretty early situations in this like match. that. And we've known who's going to win for a long time now. It has been. This could be a chance. Shots off. Wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range. You jammy shit. Strong, powerful clearance. <laughs> Deli Alley. Get in, good, Demari, good great man at match. The city and they're using it. That's good support as they build this attack. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Jason Denier is coming forward with some danger. Ah, oh, come on, Fontana, you've got to win. whistle today three more points still on top of the table in the middle of the season here yeah and the only way he's up for this team look at the lads on the pitch look at the manager on the sideline he's really optimistic well we're guaranteed a lot from this team the home team aren't we when they play at home they get goals they win and they've just done it again in front of our very eyes well they throw men forward and so many players capable of popping up and getting a goal Unstoppable at the moment. I know, I won't go that far. Lovely, incisive pass. Please give it though. Can he finish it? The first two goals were almost carbon copies. Now this looks promising. Real chance. Arsenal nil, Reading one, Chelsea two, Everton two, Crystal Palace two, Ooh. Tottenham Hotspur two, Leeds United four, Manchester City nil, Leicester City nil, Stoke City one, Liverpool two, Burnley one.
Manchester United, four, one. Southampton, two, Watford, one. Swansea City, one, Newcastle United, one. West Ham United, two, Huddersfield Town, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Leeds United with 50 points. In second, Chelsea with 41 points. In third, Leicester City with 39 points. In fourth, Manchester United with 35 points. In fifth, Reading with 35 points, but only behind on goal difference. In sixth, Southampton with 33 points. In seventh, Liverpool with 32 points. In eighth, Tottenham Hotspur with 30 Good points. Good try. Bottom of the table, Newcastle United with 14 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Huddersfield Town with 15 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, Burnley with 15 points. Oh, I ain't coming till January though. Uh, sorry, summer. Fifth bottom and falling are Watford with 22 points. Might be a mistake, but it's not going to get no better than 77, though, is it? It's 27. Give him defending crosses. Pushing the attacker. Give him high pressure finishing. There's a few of them that will probably want to move on soon. Roof, Alioska, that I urge, Dallas. one simulate them see how the boys do right it's the Newcastle game next I could probably even go first team again When's the United game? Colado. All three. We'll see anyway. We'll advance. Might get another training session in as well. Starting to creep a little bit of a gap now after that. Bit of a poor run. No looking parts to run off. There's a a player that you could look for in Portugal. It's called Algarve. God, that's a sad joke, that isn't it? <laughs> I can't honestly think of a player 
to plug any gaps in this window. Now, I know his contract's up soon. If I get him, it'll be too much. Thirty one. Excellent, he's going to accept the bar. Oh, I've only got that side of my wage budget out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get him. Yeah, I'd love to have him as a player, but They'll go for that. The problem is when his wage is nearly double, I should imagine. Whoa! Can't believe I've got Danny Suarez as well. <laughs> So, next season, I'm in my squad, I'm going to have Denis Suarez, Belotti, and Malcolm. And I haven't paid a transfer fee for any of them. I've got about £150 million pounds worth of players. I don't think I'll have any problem moving shirts next season. Oh, you staff. Now, let's go to South America. See if you can find a, an Alexis Sanchez for me. the players I've got rolling in next summer so we'll look at the objectives oh look at that gain 
a bit short of 132 million. And it's January, and I've done 98% of it. I've increased the club's worth by 15% in six months when I had two seasons to do it. Three hundred and thirty four million well three hundred and thirty four point five just three hundred and thirty four point five million within three seasons and done five percent of that. So I've already got over fifteen million in earnings. And it's January. Now, I'm going to have to work my squad out for next year. Might have to start making some sales and stuff like that. I've got an 87 rated player an 88 rated player and an 86 rated player to come into that first team. Some of these will be moving down. That's in the summer though. And that's the bits that's going then. the way for one anyway got me loan signings out as well to come back if it comes to it, if one of my strikers get injured is there an alley I can bring back I hope Schulter gets a bit better Hope I don't leave my tail so short. Right, let's advance again. Oh, Newcastle United.
project. We'll have a look at you. Project. Ooh. I'm not going to take him. Because he's 17, I can't bring him into the squad. You're going to be on the bench, I'm afraid, Jay. I oh, don't know, you might not be able to be on the bench. Also, Bitsky's still there. Swap you for Grot. I'm going to play my second team. start Dallas as well oh that's handy to know left back and right back I'm going with. Let's play. Gonna put them in a change kit. I'd go in if one if I had one. If I had one, I'd go in one.
Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. The match today is Newcastle United against Leeds United. Well, this, as we look at the level, is good reading for Reading. And their results have been, to this point, the Royals. Well, it just goes to show what can be achieved if you stick together, if you defend well, past the halfway mark. And quite rightly, this team deserves their Euro League spot. But I'm Leeds United, United, not Reading. United's Tim Krul starts in goal. Christian Zabata replaces Kieran Clark, who's been out of sorts lately. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. The ball always supposed to be good. Next. Who's Armstrong? Is that the Scots International? Check for you on the Leeds United lineup. I'll have a couple to mention next year. Mind you, I don't know why it's not mentioning. Mind you, it won't be mentioning Danica Bayo and that was not playing. <laughs> but it doesn't even. And they are. Leeds United, a real spring in their step on the back of that home win in their previous game against Manchester City. 4-0. Oh, the manager would have been delighted, and I think he might be at the end of today as well. Got to get drop fired in. It could be a special day, this one, for Newcastle United. We'll see. They've got the game underway. No mention of my signings at all. On to the attack now. Samuel Sais has to score. Get in. They go in front and with their attacking the ball up, drop. No one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score, and they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. Dallas with an assist straight away. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. And it's Leeds United who are now leading. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Samuel Sais on the attack here. Crisp defending there. Now Atsu. Well, this could have an edge to it, isn't it? Because I know the home team are pretty upset with what happened in the away game when they were beaten. They weren't too pleased about their performance or indeed the reception that they got. Here's a chance! Ooh. Chance for his second goal of the match. And the goalkeeper determined not to be beaten a second time. Yeah, I think he was disappointed how he got beaten the first, so... Uh, made Ooh, an end great there. middle at the box. Might have to... I don't know if you can still do it, create corners or not. Used to be able to do, create set moves, set pieces, sort of. Run back a few Here's FIFA's the there, though. It's a goal for West Ham United. 11 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. It was on Sky Sports News earlier today as well. That Chelsea had on about paying 30 million for Edin Dzeko. would have loved to have uh, described more lyrically that West Ham goal that he's just Kill. seen, but we were short on time here. Apologies for that. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Nice ball. He might be through. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league. And they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. Oh, come on. They've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect 
teams uh, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. Samuel Sais. Offside. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his runner touch. Defence squeezed. They knew they caught their man off. News for you from Leicester, from the King Power oh. Stadium, and Alan McInally. It's a goal for Leicester City. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Could be dangerous. Just read the intentions of the opposition well, in there to the interception. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Needs to stay cool now. Our chance. Get in. Of attacking play, typical really of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager has got terrific belief in attacking football, and he must be thrilled, probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score, they attack, they score. That's the kind of team they are. Two for him nice on the day. Rock's two getting in very there. Well taken goals. Restarting at 2-0. Armstrong. Trying to come. I want to know where Armstrong's from. Jansen. Is it the Scottish player? An update from the Etihad from Alaba. Oh, Canale. come on. It's a goal from Manchester City. 27 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Zapata. Now Atsu. Little piece of interplay between the two. Alan Tyler. Played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Here's Phillips. Shots off. Good block, stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Armstrong. Oh dear. Able to cut that out. With well, Calvin. Calvin. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. I was supposed to go back to Vieira. This could be good vision. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Trying to steer it through. Not enough pace on it. Zapata. Here they are on the attack. He's had a go here. Oh, great save. Thought Dallas were going to get in then. Corner's taken. Not oh, able to take it. Middle advantage. of box. Of a good position, whipped in from the wide area. Oh, that's good defending. Armstrong. Now Atsu. Now they're pressing in at him. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. That was shockingly pants. Oh! It was a real opportunity. But there might be a key moment in there. From a yeah, the key moment was when he launched yeah, well, it over the really fucking bar. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. 
Leeds United have the advantage from the referee here. He's coming forward with some danger. And that's a, a try. <laughs> <one. laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is enough. Well, that's put them further in front and nicely taken. Certainly was. Up it's up, okay. and, uh, they seem to be heading for a comfortable lead here. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Not Meg. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. Clever ball. Real chance. Looking real opening now. Oh, come on, get your that trick. Here we've got a free kick given by the referee. the break 3-0 for half time score well what a player what a performance in that first half Alan seven shots on though. top of his game out there and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat trick in the second half that crunching you can hear is my dog <laughs> I'm not crunching the dog. The dog's eating something. <laughs> well, we not that I think you were crunching my dog. Was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half time. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Ooh. Not to correct you or anything, Martin, but well, I actually do, do normally win a game at half time. The psychology of I don't normally right do all else after half time. Oh, chance. Well, that's a goal. That's from that man. Written all over it. It looks wonderful when it comes off. Not quite so when he doesn't. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it. And I think what I'll be like with good players in my team. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Armstrong. Attacking now. Well, the home team has been outplayed. And the home supporters have lost their will to support. I'm gonna give a couple of the ones a run. I'm gonna put Rose on. See if I can build the confidence up a little bit. Got a good 40 minutes. What I think. Well, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits. They're not impressed. Now this looks promising. Offside. Threw everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Bailey's done well since I uh, now decided to part ways with Reedvald. Good vision. Attacking well here. The score! The shot's hit the post. Good interception. Man, just route same rating as him, so. Trying 
and it shuts on. The defenders managed to get in the way there. His confidence is down at the minute, his roses. So Armstrong. He says he's he wants to play on the shoulder of the last poor form and stuff like that. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Two Try and play him out of it. Introduced here. Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, I suppose I could play him further into a funk. <laughs> Come on, Louis. Now you can cross it. And pull it back here to set up a chance. It has hit the frame Ooh. of the goal. Well, unlucky there. He's got the placement inches away from scoring. Well, he's got options on the bench, of course. Well, it's the talk of the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential big money signing. Well, all the fans are... Chance. Ooh. Oh, kept it out. The team is lining up for the corner. Put the corner in the middle. Come Tried on. Keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, I thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. I thought we were going to get it on target. Could be dangerous. Palmer. John Joe Shelby. Got the opposition backpedaling a little bit. Oh, Dallas. That's what's going to be doing in confidence. No good. Here's Phillips. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Read the nah, that one the is fault. To make the interception. Pressed high here. News for you from well in. Leicester from the King Power Stadium and Alan McInally. It's a goal for Liverpool. 73 minutes played. 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McInally, keeping us up to date as usual. It's looking good, this move. Palmer. A low ball into the box. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction. And he could get away here. He's got his shot off. <laughs> he's put it away. Yes, it's a goal from the substitute. And he's quickly made his mark on proceedings here. That does extend their margin out at an important time. There's a huge gulf. That's got to get his confidence up a bit. Shown by the scoreline. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances and it is an act where it's uh, no, the plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing yeah well i have to say with that. it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals now he's getting a bit of confidence up got a bit of menace to it and now the shot <laughs> great work by the goalkeeper the ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it Can Grot get on the score sheet for a third time? Armstrong. Shaughnessy. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Ooh. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. John Joe Shelby. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. And shoots! And the goalkeeper still in play. This could lead to a chance. It's good. Oh, he's through. Ah, oh, shit. In a great position to pull it back. It's gone to the goalkeeper in very soft fashion. And the attacker cannot believe that he's messed this one up. Simple for the Neither keeper. Neither can I. Yeah, he can't believe his luck, can he? The keeper, little boy, smile. He knows that that should have been a goal. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. 
Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. New defensive pair in this ain't going so good at all so far. Well, really, it's a pretty new defensive line. Get in. There it is, the final whistle. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff. Samuel Seiss. I'm quite pleased with that one. Wish Grotter had got a third goal. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight up. Needs to stay cool now. Our oh, chance. The two have got lights up well. And here they are on the attack. He's had a go here. Great save. He's coming forward with some danger. That's it. Try one now. And he scores. Did well with that as well, Phillips. When they do say, and you've been incisive pass. Our chance. It's the talk of the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential. Real chance. Oh, he's kept it out. Did well today, did Dallas. Just a little nudge. To nudge you in the room, he could get away here. He's got his Saiz tens, Bournemouth one, Leicester beat Liverpool as well. One, Reading nil, Huddersfield Town one, Chelsea two, Leicester City two, Liverpool one, Manchester City two, Southampton nil. Newcastle United nil. United Just wanted to thank five. you for helping the club United reach one of its brand exposure Swansea goals City, that we set out nil. to accomplish this season. So what we wanted to earn at least 131 at the top of the table point, remain million pounds from shirt sales this Leicester season City and we couldn't have done it without you. In fourth, Manchester Keep United up the great work. Points, with a game the board. In the team I am very happy fifth, and pleased Reading with that. With but no lucky chilly boss he got a cold. Difference. In sixth, Southampton with 33 points. In seventh, Liverpool with 32 points. In eighth, rising up March. the table are West Ham United with 31 points. Bottom of the table, Newcastle United with 14 points. And then ah. moving up the table, second bottom, Huddersfield Town with 15 points. But only behind on goal I'm Third bottom, possibly. Burnley with 15 points. Fourth bottom, Crystal Palace with 20 points. Fifth bottom, Next Watford season, if he doesn't improve, points. that could happen. It's only 23 though. Yes, you did all right, Jury. Hmm. Right, I think we have some training this will be the last session I sort of imagine of this video defending crosses
precision dribbling, get his ball control up. He could be a good player, could grow his only young. Defending crosses. Precision dribbling. Do the same for Milik. We'll simulate them and see how the boys do. That's quite a good session, that. The Boko did well, as did Grot. The threes did okay. It's going to be a first team game. I'm going to do something different with subs though, because they've been. Sam Montana's been in for a few games. What else have we got? Attacking midfield and his attacking work rate's low. Right, I'm going to put McKinley on the bench. Still got Sabitsky. Sean accepted that deal. He can go on bench anyway. The back no, it's not going on bench. Seen he's really good at shooting, pretty slow though. Don't want to risk Sabitsky's transfer if it can go through. I'm going to use Vimulan. As a cover striker. Yeah, I'm going to risk it even though it is Man United. Well, it should be Man United. Is 
That's still supposed to be happening, Sabitsky in Newcastle. Still negotiating. I've done a press conference for her. Savitsky's gone. So is it? They've changed game. They've moved Man United game. So they dropped the Millwall game in. So, and then it's been a week since that game. Should have played first team. And it's another week. You know something? I'm sticking first team out against them. There you go, boost. See you there. Um, I'm glad to inform you they've joined me in time for a game, but unfortunately it's the last game. I will just keep you up to date on some of the biz transfer business I've done. I did two transfers yesterday, I don't know whether you saw them. I managed to find three transfers. I got Belotti and Malcolm, free transfers. And then today managed to get Denis Suarez on a free transfer. They both arrive in the oh sorry, all three of them arrive in the summer. I think that's a Good little bit of business there. Dennis Suarez was on £230,000 a week. He's at Leeds, he's going to be on 175000 Belotti has actually got a pay rise. He was 115 he's now going to be on 140 Malcolm has got a pay rise. He was on 76 he's on now on 95 but I think they're th three good additions to my squad. You join me in time for the game against Millwall in the fourth round of the FA Cup. I was thinking of putting a weakened team out, but it's Millwall. And when 
Leeds United played them at the weekend in the Championship. Leeds were 2-0 and a man down after 36 minutes on 89 minutes Leeds were 3-2 up with a man down but on 93 minutes Leeds lost 4-3 so I'm going to beat them press conference Talk about Millwall and we'll unnerve them. What does it say that I've said? It doesn't say what I've said. Team at Weekend House, have I got any in that? Yep, Saez, Denton, Shaughnessy, Coyle, Dallas, Phil, and Grot. <laughs> Quite a few players in it. Still a long way until the glamour of a cup final in the Emirates FA Cup, but two great rivals, Leeds United and Millwall, have to overcome the other before they can let themselves think of progressing any further in this year's tournament. Magic has some thoughts on his cup tie. Ahead of the game, well, these teams like have to crack a bigger team. Well, these teams like to have a crack a bigger team, don't they? But you can often see the League form suffer as a result, he said. That tends that tends to be the things where judge on more than anything else these days. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was their major concern, he concluded. The two teams are from different ends of the football spectrum, so there should be only one outcome. But with the magic of the cup, you never know. We don't want any magic magic from shower of Millwall. Thought I was playing Manchester United next. I have a missed bread. The fixtures or they brought the cup game in after I arranged the fixture. Loaning him. I was about you kiss my big red rosy ass. Offer me something like fifty five million and you can have him. We'll try. We would delegate. Don't sell the player for less than. Fifteen mil. <laughs> now that would be good. No look in Spain, bros, because it was got loads of rain on the plane. I 
have a look in Denmark. Whoa, did I see? No, oh, yeah, Nick Middleton. Looks like he could be a good player. Versatile as well, can go left and right. But I've got a young kid that can do that as well. I can put a team of kids out there on bench. Where is for steel that you're gonna be the centre back as you can play there? Gomez is coming out. Is Rose fit again? Yep. That's what I'm going with it on the bench. They're all going to be kids. I should really use a weakened team to start the game, but I want to stuff them. A bit shit that I want this season to be over now. Looking forward to playing with Bellotti, Malcolm, and Dennis Suarez. I can't believe I got three free transfers like that. They're getting nice bonuses though, but a lot of his bonuses and si mean, signing bonuses and bonus for scoring TV goals adds up to about ten cards. million. It's coming up for you live. So he's a four-year contract. On 140 well, grand a week. Action from the FA Cup, the Emirates FA Cup, as we must rightly call it now. And 10 million and a for a 62 million pound player. Very good to you. It has, and uh, there's always a buzz when players come into this competition. And there's Malcolm's a buzz on 95 this grand, grand a week for five years because he's only 23. Well, and he only got a signing bonus of less than to 2 million. The we're going to see a match of real passion as well as skill. Check for you on and I the swear United lineup. Got a two million signing bonus, and he gets four to two games. Uh, two games. And he's worth a short of fifty million. <laughs> so that team is gonna be a bit special. Millwall. We'll go like this into this fixture. Probably one of Tom Elliott, ex Leeds United. Slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when six foot required. four is. I think so. If they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. He actually scored one of the goals at the weekend. Well, he scored the off goal, winning goal. Leeds United hoping that they can. Reach the same heights again as they did ring in their ring away win against Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, five nil. Uh, the strikers were on fire. I think that'll be too much for the opposition today. Well, he's got nice side. I wonder if he's related to Zuffy. Thank you. Enjoy. 
enjoy the game. Dancer, making your mind up. Robert Jones is the referee for this match. Nicely put to there, boys. That tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Ryan Gould. Here's a chance. He scores. Fantastic start. We just walked through a side at that as well. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Oh, that is a fantastic goal. Yeah, it's a it's nice start. In, he kept his head down. Leeds United in control, and that's what we would have expected coming here today. Neatly intercepted. They could pose some danger now. He's aimed it in towards the front post. Ooh, <laughs> we're going for it. Throwing coming up. I thought he'd come off other blocks. Noggin. Sorry, Swede. I mean, Ed. Gregory. Tackle. Here's Ryan Gould. Kennedy. And the ball knocked away long. Just not falling for worldy shot, is it? And you've only seven minutes into the game. Here's the goal from Middlesbrough. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. Nine minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Hit in hard and low. We've given it straight to the well, opposition. Now for the pass. And Danny. Here's Ryan Gould. Kennedy. Attacking now. Lovely, incisive pass. Place to try and hit it now. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. Getting. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right. I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. They are in a lower league than me, but... Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Thompson. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Ooh. Almost tackled himself. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. Great chance! Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. And a big clearance. Out of danger and out of play in the end. Right, I've gone for a corner, that. Now he's looking for support. Ooh. Very good distance to the clearance. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. It's a good ball, they could have got to be. Wonderful finish. Ooh, nice turn, Milik. I'm not sure he hit that exactly as he would have wanted, but he doesn't care. It's ended up in the net. <laughs> he took it with great aplomb. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Oh, you jammy shit. Throw in here. I don't believe that. Came off his bonds. Now, Elliot. Ryan Gould. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. Wonderful chance! Ooh, McKeith. Oh, McKeith! way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting it some stick off all. supporters. Corner swung in. That's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch McKeith it properly. McKeith looked like that, but he's got a bloody nosebleed. 
Little horse, how goes it? Welcome to the stream, sir. Madam. My friend. This might be it. Up for grabs here. it is only Millwall, but yeah, I am. And it's... It was 3-0 after 11 minutes or something, but yeah. I want to give them a hammer in though because they actually beat Leeds United in League in Championship the weekend. The pass. Oh no! And back into the penalty area. Gregory. Here's Ryan Gould. Shot on. And score. A trick. Hat trick. Goal number three here. He's good at long and shots. It's a perfect day Millick. for the player. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. Annie Lennox sung a, sung a good version of that song. Thorn in my side. One team really on their game today. Useless information the for other you very off colour. Well here. You're not getting winner against us today, Tom. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. A real opening for it. No him. way. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Out of harm's way, out for a throw. That was shocking. By anticipating the pass. Alan McAnally's got a penalty to tell us about at Chelsea. It's Come on, Cabello, you've got Chelsea. better than that. He's put the ball down on the spot. Don't back off. Big chance. Strike. Yeah, he never looked like missing for me. Great penalty. 36 minutes. Right played. on your way, Kennedy. Oh, well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping his up. Surely. Oh, yeah, my word. Shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. I can't imagine playing it on PC, actually. Oh, mind you, if you've got a controller, like you say. A goal for Chelsea. We were hearing from Alan McAnally earlier. They've converted the, uh, from the penalty spot to make it one. Do you nil. stream your games? Into the attacking third. That's all really. play until they got that challenge in. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Oh, what the fuck was that? Still think I'm going to bring kids Headed on at half time. Ryan Gould. It's not really Try to score from anywhere now. Range, especially when he can see it all the way. Throw into cup. That's second half syndrome end at first half. Luke Ayling. Real chance. And here's the shot. Get in, Nabby. Lose count if it goes on like this. It's going to be a very crowded midfield that next year. Extend their margin now at an important time. Got to fit There's a huge Dennis Suarez in there somewhere. Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. Malcolm onto one at wings, and Balotelli up front. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. Hearing there will be three added minutes here. Wallace. There's 
a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. That's a brilliant challenge. And that's the half-time whistle with Leeds United leading. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. Some of them AI games can be hard. I do um, them squad challenges. Well, I do them most weeks anyway. And if you turn them up, they can be bloody hard, trust me. Right, I'll give it five minutes to see if I can get Milliki's hat trick. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half. And really got a strike and bench. And yeah, interesting to uh, but, uh, know what the two managers would have said in those one of youngsters. Rooms, but I'm that's a winner. A really good just sold to Bitsky to Newcastle, oh, so I've only got Grot and Algus alone, but Ekiban out. I'm just going to bring kids in, I think. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity. Can he shit too? Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have. There used to be a, a German yeah, international the called Kunz. The knack of doing that. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair. An update from the Etihad, from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester There's actually City. a famous piece of commentary by, Cheers, I think Alan. it was John Motson, where they do the commentary like um, oh, oh, got out England of the ball. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Doing really well, and then they go the something like Beckham. Well, they didn't. They went something like. Gregory. Germany doing really well, really dominating right, England, Ellie. and then he went cunts. He <laughs> but he was actually saying his name. Going forward well. Excellent interception. Right, time to bring some kids on. Right, Mancini is going on. Cabello. Cabello's not much better than him, is he? <laughs> I am going to put the mule in up front. I know he's a winger. And I think I'm going to put Young on left wing. Play the German teams regular, dear little horse. Got some good players in them German teams. Right, come on, let's see if we can Back keep this up with this in front of our man, Alan bit of a change team for the second the half. Minutes, Four, one. Thanks, Alan. He's coming forward with some I've danger. got strikers I could bring back from loans if it gets desperate. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Has to clear it. Look, get it out and then we'll try and get Sabi uh, not Sabitsky. Not Sabitsky, so hold former glories, Liverpool, and they're prepared to go into the transfer market to do that. Well, all the fans are excited about it, Martin, and I bet the player is as well. I bet. Oh, shit, Balba. 
Throw in here. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. The player that Liverpool were actually Martin supposed to get from Red Bull Leipzig was Naby Keita. But I've got him. Let's see how this goes. Young, the young left winger from Scotland, he has only scored a couple of goals from it, but he, they have been proper worldies. Oh, that! The Mullen probably. Great interception. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Came in with a challenge. Looks the goalkeeper. Nice. It's been a great performance from a team that's just not let up at all, and they've scored again. I actually thought I'd sort of well, taken he's him off. With his goal, no, striker, winger, midfielder. Style, just like the first one. One team really on their game today. The other very off colour. And it's Thompson. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Could be dangerous. Come on. The move and able to cut out the pass. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Proper tackle that. And now the shot. The shot gets blocked. Dear me. Gregory. This is what Leeds United should have bloody done to him at weekend. But it's hard when you go a man down. Foot. Getting good at going men down there. No oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, we want ten. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Stop Nelson. getting complacent. And Cooper. Promising build up until that challenge. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. It's a good ball. They could oh. be in. Throw in now. And this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. I want to pull it back. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. That's good play once more. He's knocked it out of harm's way. Just a bit of creativity in midfield. Second goal for Chelsea. Ten minutes remain. Two nil. Thanks, Alan. Coming on strong. That's a lot of it, but play their way through now. Ryan Gould. Break quickly when they get possession. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. It has been. A case of the die being cast pretty early well, in this be. football match. And we've known who's going to win for a long time now. It has been very one-sided. I told them they were going to get unnerved. And the pass not completed, really. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Here's Ryan Gould. What's Luke Hillen doing down there? That's very good defending. They had to get it right. And that defender did it superbly. I think they've got every man behind the ball now. Ryan Gould. Good forward play from them. Guiding it through the defenders. Our chance. Get it. Brilliant goal. Well taken. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat trick. Right to the side of the goal and nicking off the inside of the post on its way in. On another day, it was a nice link up play though by the new one. Not this time. Really nice link up play. Well, the game petering out a little bit now with both sides settling for what's on the scoreline. 
No. Nice difference between the two teams. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept their focus this side and uh, taken the chances nicely when they've cropped up. If you get some new way, Luke, Look kick him in the face. Capacity. Couldn't let the opponent get away with it. Get in there. The from the Biggest win at season so far. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Oh, he did get a man. Uh, uh, an hat trick. From the ref, a hat trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. And Gold got an hat trick. Well, in cup ties, winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but yeah, now winners here. Are you from the US, little horse? Must admit, I do like the NFL. They lick tens. 21 shots, 12 on target. Spurs thumped Villa 5 1. The Football Association Challenge Cup. Bournemouth 0. Brentford 1. Burnley 1. Swansea City 1. Chelsea 2. Well, Southampton 0. Everton 3. Doncaster Rovers 0. Leeds United 8. Millwall 0. Leicester City 2. Burton Albion 0. Manchester City not 3. Not I'm trying to sell him. Albion, 1. Manchester United 2. Barnsley 1. Middlesbrough 1. Huddersfield Town, 1. Nottingham Forest, 1. Crystal Palace, 2. Tottenham Hotspur, 5. Aston Villa, 1. Watford, 3. Sunderland, 0. Reject. Oh. Should have probably known that with little horse like, but you sixteen year old groom. Shut up about your playing time. Well guys, I'm gonna call it a draw at that even though I beat them. Guys that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed the three games that I brought to you, plenty of games in all three, positive results in all three, into the next round of the FA Cup and I thumped Millwall, a good free signing again, got Denis Suarez on a four year contract which is excellent, another good player coming in in the summer. If you did enjoy the video and you're watching on YouTube, it would be awesome if you could hit that sub button, drop a like, or even leave a comment. Even if you didn't enjoy it, thumbs down and a comment, it helps me critique my work. Whichever platform you're watching on though, guys, don't forget to turn notifications on and you won't miss any finger magic shenanigans. Also, drop a follow on Twitch if you so wish. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at Fingermajig, you'll receive regular tweets containing discount codes from sponsors, notifications of my latest live stream activity on Twitch, and details of the game clips and the past live stream playlists that are on my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for stopping by. It really does mean a lot that you take time out of your busy days and hectic lives to come and watch my latest gaming adventures. Um, to answer your question, does FIFA 18 have the World Cup? It probably will do when you get to that time. I'm actually the Scotland manager at the moment, Little Horse, and I am in the qualifications for the 2022 World Cup. They've already been the
this year's World Cup, they were in Russia, but I didn't play in that because I wasn't a manager at them that time. But they do have the World Cups in the game, yeah. That's to answer that question. Um, I will try and do better the next time. The next time will consist of three games and they are all beauties. We start with a home fixture against Manchester United in the Premier League. Then we have another Premier League fixture that will be Arsenal away at the Emirates. And then we are back to Champions Cup duty. And it's a knockout stage. And we will play, play in Napoli. In Napoli. So guys, as I said, thanks for stopping by. Really do appreciate it. I'm Thingamajig. And I'll see you in a bit. I hope you come back on the horse. It's been nice to chat to you. And if you do come back, you will learn lots more about European football, especially about Leeds United. So I'll see you in a bit, guys.